Welcome to ViewPathDB. ViewPathDB is a eukaryotic pathogen, vector, and host informatics resources. This database provides you with tools and underlying data from eukaryotic pathogens, vectors that carry these and other pathogens, and hosts that are infected by these pathogens. ViewPathDB resources are all built on the same uh, infrastructure. This means that if you learn how to use one of the resources, you can apply the same skills on the other resources. And all of the resources look the same. So for example, I will toggle between uh, some of our underlying resources, like FungiDB, which basically is a filtered view of ViewPathDB to include only fungal and oomycete organisms and the underlying data. And here's PlasmoDB, VectorBase, and TriTripDB. And hopefully what you've noticed is that they all pretty much look the same, just different colors and different logos, but they're basically, they have the same architecture. And all the underlying tools are the same. The header section in all of the ViewPathDB sites includes a site search window or box at the top here. This allows you to enter any word or ID and find records that match your, um, your search uh, criteria. Below the, the site search box, there are a number of menu items that allow you to navigate to different parts of the site. This header section follows you wherever you are in the resource. So anytime, wherever you are, whether you're on a gene page or you're running a search, you can quickly go up to the menu and then access the various underlying subcategories to go to a different part of the site. So you don't always have to come back to the home page to access the different uh, parts of the resource. So you'll notice here that these are categorized. Uh, each of these um, menu items has subcategories. So for example, the searches includes a number of subcategories. These are the same subcategories on the left here, which I will, I will describe in a, in a few minutes. There are tools here. This takes you a quick link to various tools like MultiBlast, uh, or for example, our Galaxy interface, if you want to analyze your own data, or if you, for example, are trying to access the underlying data computationally, we have access to our web services. My workspace allows you to go to the data that you've, you've been analyzing in the resource. You can access the underlying data, or you can learn about what data sets are available within the resource or what is even uh, coming up in the, in the future data sets that we are working on. The About menu includes information about the resource and from different aspects, including a list of all the uh, uh, databases that we support. You can, and these link to them. Uh, these are also represented in the, in the footer section with icons. The Help menu includes uh, a number of useful categories, but I would like to point out this Learn How to Use ViewPathDB menu item. When you click on this, this takes you to a page that includes uh, various buttons that include, for example, links to all of the webinars that we are uh, hosting in the future, and this gets updated regularly, and all of the webinars that we have run uh, in the past. So if you want to learn more about orthology searches and, orth and ortho MCL, for example, you can go and view the recorded tutorial that, that took place in, in July. And we update these on a regular basis. On the, all the way on the right here, underneath the search box, there's a contact us link. So this allows you to quickly get to a form that allows you to send us an email with a question or suggestions or information. All the way on the right, there are a number of icons here. These are social media icons. So you can follow us or access information that we represent on Twitter, Facebook, or Reddit, for example. Uh, also, we have a link to our YouTube channel, which, uh, which provides uh, all of our recordings for whether it's um, webinars or tutorials or workshop exercises, those are all found, you can find them here in our YouTube channel. Uh, and then there's a, a login icon here. You can access all of ViewPathDB sites as a guest. You don't have to log in to use it. Um, however, there are some aspects of the site that require logging in. For example, if you're gonna be uploading your own data to analyze it privately, that requires a login. Or if you, if you are going to add a comment on a gene page, for example, you need to log in because that's associated with an individual um, user. Okay, on the right, uh, on the left-hand side here, uh, you will see all of these specialized searches. They're categorized, uh, so hopefully that's that's meaningful. But of course, it's very hard to uh, um, to find things if there are uh, menus upon menus here, as, as you can see here with the gene searches. Uh, so we provide this filter 
box up here. So for example, if you're interested in finding uh, genes that have a predicted secretary, secretary signal peptide, so you wanna look for signal peptide predictions, you can just start typing signal here and it'll filter the searches. And you will notice here that one of them is predicted signal um, peptide uh, searches and, and that allows you then to go to that specialized search and identify all genes that have a predicted secretory signal peptide. The central portion of the home page includes uh, all of the a lot of help uh, information, uh, including these uh, buttons at the top here. Each one of them provides you a short vignette about a particular um, uh, tool on the site that you might be interested in, and you can expand these to view more information about them. For example, I clicked on the search strategies icon right here. This showed me a short vignette on search strategies that shows you how to build them and information about how you can get more uh, help if you need more help. And you can see here, there's one on, on the genome browser, for example, transcriptomic resources and, and, and so forth. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will notice here that there are uh, specialized or specific tutorials uh, these are these take you to PDFs that are um, are a bit more lengthy than a vignette with step by step instructions on how to use various aspects of the site. So this really help you um, delve into and get more um, uh, intricate with um, the various aspects of the resource. And you'll notice here all the way in the bottom, there's a community chat icon. So this uh, allows you to quickly ask us a question. Um, and and then, or not only us, you can ask the community a question. Um, it does require you to log in to, to Gitter, so that's obviously a, uh, something one would have to do, but it is quite useful to get some information and, and quickly get an answer, and, and some people prefer to communicate with us or the community using uh, the community chat icon. All the way on the right here is our news and tweets section, which is collapsed by default. If you expand this here, you will notice now that all of our news items from over the years are represented in this uh, window here, which you can then go and view all of them here by following the see all news links. And below this, we have a uh, live update of our uh, Twitter feed. Uh, and so there's often some useful information here and we allows you to quickly see what's new without having to create a Twitter account. And so that's, that's a nice way for you to find out um, about um, information that's being disseminated to the community through uh, social media. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and uh, as usual if you have any questions or comments please uh, send us an email by clicking on the contact us link.